you will look good you could look you're gonna look pretty hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is sonia if you're new here please hit the subscribe button watch the video till the end uh, let me know if you guys like it if it's easier for you guys to recreate because today i'm going to do a daily makeup look i guess every person who goes to an office or to college can definitely recreate this look i'm not going to use a lot of products however i will be showing you each and every step of what a general daily makeup look would look like because that is makeup so yes i would be showing you everything however you obviously can skip a lot of things because i remember when i was in college i used to do like a moisturizer powder if you're an indian you know moisturizer and powder is like very very common for all of us and after that i used to wear kajal on the eyes and a lip balm usually i used to use a normal vaseline lip balm i've like always loved this thing and uh, i think what was the other there was like a tinted lip balm which i used to use when i was in college but i don't remember hmm it was a baby lips baby lips i think yeah i don't know if you guys have ever used it let me know baby lips they come in different colors but i used to use the pink and it was like nice and tinted and really cute so i used to use that that's all what we used to do on our faces however these days things have changed and a lot of people like looking even more better and they are wanting to look more presentable having said that everyone looks good in their own skin and i feel beautiful like this as well but I'm going to show you guys a daily makeup routine which you can follow. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'll do is pull back my hair. My hair is all out of my face. Moisturizer. I'm going to take like a pea size amount. Warm up the moisturizer in your palm and gently apply it all over your face. Do not forget moisturizers are very important on your daily routine because they really protect your skin, make it soft and supple, so you do not skip on that. Make sure every time you apply moisturizer or any sort of cream on your face, you give them an upward stroke motion so that your skin doesn't start falling off when you start growing older, which is eventually going to happen, but let's just try preventing it so that it's a little slower. No intention of scaring you, but I thought I'll get you guys a little closer so that we can you know all right i've already applied vaseline lip balm on my lips so that it is nice and plump the next thing i'm going to use is a concealer now this one is the instant age rewind eraser from maybelline this is my favorite concealer you guys this isn't overpowering but it's really nice it suits my color this is in the shade i don't know And I'm not going to use a foundation today because on general basis, I really don't use even a concealer. So that means you can definitely skip this part. I'm going to use it to give a little mattifying finish on my face. Like you can definitely see, I have a lot of scar markings and a little bit of hyperpigmentation here and there. So I'm definitely going to use it. But you can totally skip it if you don't like it. Most of the days I wouldn't do it, but today I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to just take a little bit and mostly apply it on the areas I have hyperpigmentation. Under my eyes, around my nose and my mouth and also some parts where I need to cover the blemishes. The next thing I'm going to do is use my hands because oh my god no one has the time to use a beauty blender at this stage so I'm going to just use my hands and make sure that I have mostly patting the product onto my face and very gently and lightly pushing it around the whole area so that my face is completely covered and there's no strokes or any harsh lines on the face. And again, when you're trying to pat on your face or rub on your face, make sure you're doing it in the upward motion. Don't forget your neck because already you can see that my neck is totally dark. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and apply the same concealer a little bit over here and there and just rub around your neck. All right, now that is done. The next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. So now I should tell you guys that I used to never do my eyebrows before, but I guess eyebrows really tend to make a very big difference on your face altogether. Now this one is the one I recently got and you might have seen that in the previous Nika haul. This is a Miss Claire's uh, 01 Black. I did my eyebrows off camera because 
I'm I'm totally a beginner so I'm not like a good you know. so I'm not like a good it doesn't look that perfect but it's far better than what I had before so the next thing I'm going to do is eyes these are my favorite part I have been always doing them properly everyone who knows me knows that I really like it I'm going to show you guys my favorite way to do a nice partially smoky eyes and very quick one though. The first thing I'm going to do is take a kajal. Now this is a colossal kajal super black and I'm going to draw on the upper lash line. I really don't want it to be very perfect. I'm just going to like scribble over the eyelid as close to the eyelash as possible. Next thing I'm going to do is use the tip of my finger and smudge the line we've drawn with the bare finger. All right, that is that. Now I'm going to use the same and do on the tight line as well. Now, one eye is done. It's not actually done. This is the easiest way of getting a smoky eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same procedure on the other eye. Now I'm gonna use a kajal. While we are on it, let me just go ahead and talk about this. This is the Lakme Natural Gel Kajal I purchased earlier this month or last month, I don't know. And you might have seen that in the Nika haul. Absolutely horrible, you guys. I mean, this is so freaking dry. So dry. I cannot, for the sake of anything, I cannot use it at all. It's horrible. I totally, totally hate it. Now I have to find a hack to fix it. I'm going to use my trusty little Lakme Insta Liner. I should have got this. Shouldn't have spent that much money on that. All right, anyways, so let's go ahead and use this. And I'm going to draw a nice thick line on the upper lash line. All right, that is it. You see how it looks? I kind of really like it. I used to always, always do this. Not in college, I suppose. I used to just do a normal eyeliner when I was in college. But ever since I started working, this is how I used to do my eyes all the time. And they look so good. They look so naturally beautiful and smoky. It's very easy. It is not at all as difficult as I showed you in my first, very first video in the YouTube channel. If you haven't watched that, very optional thing is doing the mascara. I'm actually going to skip it in this video because I really don't, if I'm going to skip it, you can skip it too. But if you like it, go ahead and do it. Wear some mascara. It's going to look good. The next thing I'm going to do is very important. Don't forget a blush. Yes, I'm going to use the blush because blush always makes you look nice and energetic. So I'm going to go ahead and take a nice tap of the excess and make sure that you're concentrating it more over here and here and then all over your face. Do not forget your nose and almost your whole face. But yes, make sure that you have a nice subtle blush and not something which is very pigmented because you don't want to look like you've really put on some blush. But this is a very subtle blush and I really like it. It makes me look like I'm plump. The next thing I'm going to do which is lipsticks. Now, I have a couple of them here. Most of the time, the lipsticks I prefer using is a very nude one. It is the Maybelline 657 Nude Nuance. Just for a change, I generally don't do it. I'm going to use the color bar in the shade Pricey Affair. Nice brown color. I really like it. I'm going to use this and the other lipstick as well. I have used two different lipsticks over here. And the next thing we're going to do is apply eyelashes. Here I'm going to take the Health & Glow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No eyelashes. So this is the final look. Pretty? Say yes or no. So if you guys like this basic everyday look please mention that in the comments below hit the like button and subscribe to my channel do not forget subscribing to my channel you guys i cannot stress on those words even more so until next time bye Now I'm going to use it to give a, so until next time, next time.